Alright people it's Spratter here and today I've got a Black Ops class set of video and uh, also I'm going to look at my combat record and this has been highly requested um, to be honest I didn't think a lot of my subscribers still play Black Ops um, I know you enjoy watching it well most of you do but um, I didn't think many people still played it but anyway it's, it's been requested a lot I've had a lot of comments and messages and tweets about it so uh, yeah let, I guess we'll get started um, just for the people asking a lot of people say why don't you play your face spread account well basically I had to pick uh, an account especially on one of her three to do you know the prestige targets on so I obviously wanted to pick you know one account and if I use my face spread account I know I'll get into more sniper games and I don't really like that all so I picked my spread account and yeah that's it and obviously on black ops as I've already done the prestige targets before I got in face so yeah so that's that and we'll get in the classes. So um this is what I've got at the moment. Um I'll start off with the snipers because that's probably what you want to see. Um my main class is the L96 with extended mags, uh, the Python with speed reloader or whatever it is. Um you've got Semtex concussion with just stuns and then tactical insertion. And my perks are flat jacket pro, slight of am pro and tactical mass pro. Now that is pretty much my basic class. Um that'll be the same with the PSG. Uh, no PSG there, uh, or maybe a variation in the secondary, but that's that's the main setup that I use. Um, I don't know. I think it just works best for me. I love Flight Jacket and Tact Mass Pro. I think they're just amazing. They help you out so much. Like when I first started playing Black Ops, I was using Ghost just because um, it was harder to snipe back then, and you wanted to kind of get behind people without them knowing you were there. Um, but now it's a lot more fun. Uh, next one is uh, my L96 with extended mags and variable zoom. Oh, sorry if you can hear the rain in the background, let's just start chucking it down. Um, but that one is a common class as well. The only difference there is Warlord and I've got a Tomahawk, so I've got two Tomahawks on that. I try and get some double Tomahawks across the map, but I only usually get one, which is a pain. Um, yeah, on the next one, this is I've got two Russian classes for like the triples at the start. I've got the PSD there with the lightweight and that's pretty much the same as well it's got lightweight and marathon instead of flat jacket and tap mass pro and then I've got one there with the uh, 096 that one's got a C4 on that one uh, that I should actually put a C4 on that one I'll do that now and um, yeah so that's those and this one is um, my echo class now, I haven't really used this that much but I need to start using it more I want an echo quad feed or at least one um, but this one has Scout Pro on. If you don't know what that does, basically what it does is uh, it allows you to switch between weapons really fast. So I use this, oh, as you can see I've got the crossbow at the moment. But uh, if you pick up a weapon, you can switch really fast between them. And it's much better if you want to like go on a little streak and pick up weapons off the floor and switch about. Oh, it's, I think that's one of the funniest things about playing game, playing Call of Duty. Is uh, it's picking up gu guns, improvising, I think. I'm going to try and make a commentary, I'll try and get a gameplay where I'm just picking up guns all the time. Uh, let me know if you want to see that actually. Um, so yeah, those are the sniper classes. Now onto the red gun. Um, I obviously want to get some machine gun and shotgun clips for example 3. So I've got in here is the Spaz 12. It's got lightweight marathon. Just a random secondary. Uh, same with the uh, you know grenades and stuff. Uh, but this one's got a silencer on because and lightweight marathon which means I, I usually rush the spawns with this especially on uh, WMD, uh, Havana, trying to get them all in groups so I can get like a nice spray um, I really want an on-screen fireman with that um, yeah um, Enfield, uh, these are my red gun ones now it's pretty much all the same class, yeah <laughs> it is the same class apart from the uh, change in pistol uh, but they've got, uh, I've already got a commando clip uh, so I've got the, and I've already got an AK clip, but I want another one. I've got an MP5, AK, and Enfield. So there you can just mess around with. Um, I'm probably going to put on, let's see the ones we got. Uh, I might do a few harder ones. I might use a Spectre or the MPL. I think they're quite good guns. Uh, I also want to get a Fal one, an AUG. Um, yeah, that's probably that. I also want to get another another Olympia or HS10. They're just as hard to use, and maybe a Sterner clip or something. And then um, I've also for headshot classes. It's probably just like if I want if you want to go for headshots, probably just the same class of these at the bottom, but just change it to whatever one you want. Like I've been going with Dragonoff ACOG, 
and external mags at the same time. Uh, that's been okay. It's really hard to use, but it's hella fun. And uh, the War 2000, WA 2000, is probably one of the easiest ones to get headshots with. So if you want a headshot feed, I guess, same with stick with this class or this setup there and then just switch the sniper around. I'm probably going to try and get one with the PSG because there's not many there and not many people have done that yet. So, uh, Or the M96, obviously, I've only seen one headshot feed with that, uh, quad headshot feed with that, it's crazy. But uh, I guess that's that, I'll go on to my um, combat record. So... As you can see, played it a lot. 24 days, 12 hours. Uh, to be honest, that's not that much to say the game's been out almost two years. Well, about a year and a half. Uh, win to loss, 1.09. I usually play by myself, and yeah, you can't really control the whole game if it's ground war. Um, yeah, weapons. Uh, kill to death is 1.82. Wow, I've got 133,000 kills. Wow, that's bad. Um, accuracy is 28.94, but that's like red gun and stuff. Wow, look at all the fours on the headshots. Uh, 14,444 headshots. Uh, best kill streaks 40, and that's my on i6 stats there. It's my favourite weapon. Um, 57,000 kills and 50.22 accuracy. That's pretty good uh, to see how many kills it is. Obviously, if you get more kills, uh, it obviously it's harder to get the accuracy back up. Obviously, when it first came out, it, my accuracy must have been terrible because it was hard to snipe, but yeah, um, accuracy, what's about, I mean, PSG is almost at 50%, that's quite good. And all the snipers are obviously the highest, and shotguns, so, um, yeah, uh, what else could I show you? Um, most kills, 158, that's quite good. Um, I guess that's that. Total death use. <laughs> uh, headshots. Times killed by obviously it's the top three guns there. Famous Galilee. Okay. It's like do you use a different gun for a change, jeez. <laughs> um, I guess that's it. I don't know what else to show you. My kill streaks there. Look, as you can see, all I use is spy plane, counter spy plane, blackbird. I just use it all the time. I've got sixteen no, seventeen thousand spy planes, but pretty crazy. Um oh, contract, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to see a mono for three one, I'll have a link in the description. Also, I've just edited a COD4 dual charge. I know I don't release COD4 content, but if you really enjoy it, uh, go check that out. Tell them I sent you and, and give them some good feedback if you like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.